everybody. Alyssa here. Thanks for joining me at Becoming Memories. Um, today I am showing you a copycat kit that I put together. This kit is a copy of the hip kits from March 2017. And um, basically the main thing that the main collection that is featured in this kit is the um, Lovely Day collection from Dear Lizzie. And so I actually had the paper pad for this collection and since I have like admired this kit for a very long time now, I decided um, it was time to put together my own copycat kit. So I started of course with the papers that are from that Lovely Day collection and um, including this beautiful floral from which all of the colors of the kit are pulled. This black and white print with the houses and the trees, um, I'm sure I'll be doing some fussy cutting from that. And this adorable bird paper, um, also from that Dear Lizzie collection. And so these three papers um, are from that paper pad. And they are single-sided. So my kit um, may not stretch as far as the original hip kit would have because I don't have that B-side to use. Um, but this black and white print is my substitute for the black and white print that's in the kit. And then this triangle paper is from a different Maggie Holmes collection. I believe it was from Shine. And um, it is kind of my substitute for that smaller um, scale triangle print that was in that hip kit. And then I'm just going to move this blue out of the way for a second. And I'll talk about that in a minute here. This stripe um, is exactly what was in the kit. It is also from that Dear Lizzie collection. And then I wanted to pull in a little bit more of the yellow, and so I included this triangle print, also from Maggie Holmes. And from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection, this um, lovely sort of faded wood green. Um, I am a pattern paper background person, and so I needed um, some more background type patterns, which is why I also brought in this solid blue. And um, I also brought in a sheet of cardstock. There was no cardstock in this original kit, um, but I brought in this green. This is from My Mind's Eye, and as you can see, it has a lovely little raised dot on it. And I also chose this very strategically because the photos that I'm planning to use for my very first layout from this kit, I wanted them to be on this green background. So stay tuned for a process video using this green background with those photos. So um, I am not sure what I'm talking about here, to be perfectly honest. Um, <laughs> I had to do a voiceover of this video because my children were screaming in the background when I recorded the video. So just keeping it real here. I have four kids and very, very rarely do I do anything uninterrupted. Oh, and I ended up pulling in this other sheet. This is from the Star Shine collection by Chamel. And um, I kind of brought this in to substitute for that pattern paper that has um, very large scale words on it. And so the colors from this collection, um, if you look here, I'm going to move that bird pattern over next to it. And you can see that the colors here are incredibly similar. They're almost a perfect match. Those blues um, and pinks and teals. Um, and even that light orange, there is a little bit of light orange there in that bird pattern. And so um, I thought this would be kind of a, a way to add some bold and graphic um, images to my kit. So I'm just going to bring up a couple of these patterns that aren't quite so busy so that I can show you the embellishments on top of there. Um, and you'll be able to see everything clearly. So I picked... Um, these leatherette stickers from Pink Fresh Studio because of the colors, like the colors are almost a perfect match. And ironically, there are some leatherette stickers in the original hip kit, but not the, not these, they are from a different collection. Um, but leatherette stickers and Pink, Pink Fresh Studio are both new to me. And so these came in the Pink Fresh warehouse box and, um, I just had to include them because I'm excited to try a new product. So there is an ephemera pack in the kit. It is um, a Paige Evans ephemera pack, which I do not own. And so I chose this ephemera pack from Heidi Swap. 
And um, I have used this a few times along with the papers from the coordinating collection. But when I was looking through my different ephemera packs to find one that would work with this kit, I realized how very similar the colors are. And interestingly, this kit, um, I'm sorry, this ephemera pack has quite a few acetate pieces. And acetate is probably the hardest thing for me to use out of every scrapbook supply out there, um, other than maybe glitter. I don't really do glitter. Um, but I don't really do acetate either. And so as I work with this kit, you're going to get to see me um, play around with that. And oh, that piece is from a different collection. But oh, well, I'm just going to leave it in because I like it. <laughs> um, I believe that's from the original Dear Lizzie collection. And so there's a couple of random tags and other things. Um, but you'll get to see me play with acetate uh, as I work with this kit because... Um, that will be a challenge. <laughs> so I brought in this thicker set. This is not the one that's in the original kit, um, but there was a pink thicker in, and so I brought these in. They are puffy thickers, and they're called Heart is the name of the font. They are not fabric thickers. That sticker is um, telling a erroneous tale. Um, they are indeed puffy thickers. So, um, I brought those in and I will probably bring in a tiny alpha from my stash um, as I'm creating. Two sets of enamel dots. The greens are from the paper studio and the other multicolored ones are from my mind's eye. And then I also brought in a couple of six by six papers. Um, there were no six by sixes in the original kit, but I realized that I really didn't have very much of this peachy pink color on the coral shade. And so I brought those in just to make sure that I had enough of that color as I'm creating. And one last thing I added, also not in the original kit, but this is Dear Lizzie's sticker book. I believe from her very first collection, like this has probably been in my stash since about 2010 or 2011. And I've used it quite a bit, but I really want to use it up and get it out of my stash. So I added it um, to this kit. So that is it. This is my copycat kit from Hip Kits. Thanks for watching and um, be on the lookout for some process videos using this kit coming very soon. Thank you for watching.